welcome to kright.com where we talk fashion and beauty for grown women. Today I'm going to tell you guys about three easy ways to work denim into your wardrobe that aren't traditional ways. So none of this like get a light colored pair of jeans, get a dark colored pair of jeans, get a white pair of denim jeans. None of that. This will all be non-traditional but very cute and stylish ways that you can work some denim into your wardrobe. If you're interested in fashion and beauty for grown women, this is definitely the channel for you. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you leave so you can stay up to date. Also, you can become a member of the crew by clicking the link down in the description box and signing up to my email list. On the email list, you're going to get behind the scenes, you're going to get some info from my blog and my website and different things that I don't share here on my YouTube channel. So go ahead and click that and check it out if you're interested. Okay, y'all going to have to excuse my throat a little bit today. I'm just coming off something majorly nasty. I think I had a flu. But at any rate, we're going to push through. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is denim shoes. I know you don't think about shoes when you think about denim right off. And they can be tacky and they can be cheesy. But if you get the right pair with the right cut and if you style it the right way, it can look really, really nice. And it can definitely give your outfit a little something extra. So I'm going to show you these Steve Madden shoes that I got that I absolutely fell in love with. So this is the shoe. It is so sexy, I think. It is a high heel and I love it and it is an open toe which is great for transitioning which is where we are in fashion right now. We're kind of between seasons especially if you live in a warmer climate like I do in Florida. Um, there's a period where it's not really cold but it's not really hot anymore. This is a great shoe for that. So this shoe has a really really um, I don't know like just a nice detail to the way it's cut. It covers up most of your foot this way. Like I said, it has the high heel. You have the open toe. And the denim is sturdy. And it doesn't look like they just took some jeans and cut them up and put the material on a shoe. It's a really nice shoe. And it has a really pretty shape. So you can pair it so many different ways. Here you see the way that I chose to style it. I like the way this looks. I also like to pair it with a matching purse. But the purse is not denim. It just has the same blue tone. So it kind of ties the look together. And you can wear these shoes so many different ways. The next item I want to talk about is black denim on denim. It doesn't have to be black, but I feel like the blue denim on denim has been done and done and done. So I think the black denim on denim is a nice way to still enjoy the trend, but not to have it look so dated. It's kind of an updated version of what we've seen before with denim on denim. This top is what you're going to see in the cutaway. And I got this from Tarjay. It was $20. It's really nice. Um, it has a really nice feel to it. Like it's, it really is a solid, like almost like a rugged denim. So it's not like a super soft cottony denim. And I think when you put denim on denim, you want to stick with something that feels and looks like this because it pairs really well with the bottoms. And it almost makes it look like the two were made to go together. You can do this look with like I did boots. You can do this look with snake skin, which is a big trend that we're going to come into here in the next month or so. Animal print is like everywhere. You can definitely do it that way. You can do this with a nude shoe. That will work as well. There's a lot of different ways you can style it. But the main focus is to get your denims very close, if not exactly the same. I like a little bit of a differentiation between the two so they're not so like matchy matchy and they don't look like an outfit <laughs> well you want the tones and the shades to be very similar and you can play around with the fit if you like mom jeans on bottom if you want skinny jeans on bottom however you want to do it and then you can do the same with the top you can have it loose fitted tied tucked in one side you can do it so that your belt is showing off however you want to style it but the top and bottom in black denim gives you so many options and it's like a base for you to just go wild with the styling I'm thinking about doing a video on um, some of the trends that are a little edgier to show you how you can still wear them, still be grown and sophisticated, still <laughs> look really nice and pull together and not look like you're trying to be 22. Some of those are like snake skin and leopard print which are going to be big coming up in, t in the fall winter. If you guys want me to do that kind of video, please let me know down in the comments and I will definitely put together a video giving you guys some tips, telling you some of the items that I personally have purchased and showing you how I style them and how you can also pull them into your own wardrobe. The next piece we have is this um, blazer. It is lined inside, but 
the blazer itself is denim and it's a really nice polished looking type of denim which I think if you're going to wear in outerwear is something you should look for. Nice polished denim looks very nice in something that's structured like a blazer or a trench coat something like that. If you're going for a certain type of vibe you can get a real rugged type of denim but I think a sleeker denim looks nicer in an outerwear piece. And you can definitely use this to transition some of your summer pieces into fall winter because if you have, for instance, a really pretty dress but it's sleeveless or doesn't give you enough coverage for the cooler temperatures, just throw on the denim blazer and boom, there you go. You have your summer piece that you can now wear across seasons. This came from Banana Republic. Yes, I've had this for a while. You guys might have even seen it before. I style it a lot of different ways. But having a nice denim blazer is another great way that you can work denim into your wardrobe that's non-traditional. Also, if you like this video, you probably will enjoy the three different ways to style a floral shirt video. It was really similar where I took one piece, kind of showed you how to work that into your wardrobe. I will put a card here that will pop out. And if you prefer, I'll also put a link down in the description box and you can just click on that and head over and check that video out. Subscribe if you haven't already and join the crew. And until next time, y'all. Bye.